Good evening. How was your day? Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. I am fighting with my laptop. It is opening from one side. I don't know why. I'm trying to put it how it has to be but it opens again. Thank God we finished this week. <laughs> then I can go and check it. Well, how was your weekend? Have you finished the platform? Have you finished section five in the last test? Already final exam. Well, remember that by Thursday, we have to finish everything, okay? I hope that you are at least uh, going uh, as far as we are uh, here in the class, because we are a little ahead because we already started section five. Okay. Then. Okay, yes, I know that there are some problems. Uh, somebody uh, wrote that has no electricity. Uh, because uh, due to the rain, so maybe we we are going to be fewer than most of the time, but at least we are 10 people. So we are going to start. Remember that we were working on present continuous. Present continuous is the, the, the same present pr progressive. Okay, and here we have this man, a, a Winston Churchill. He said that to improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Okay, to improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Okay. Uh, remember that I told you that with the verbs I gave you, 
try to do the try to use these spelling rules for the ing form or the um, present participle or gerund is the same you you can you can find it the three ways gerund ing form or present participle Eh, lo voy a mutear a todos porque hay alguien que tiene un, un problemita de sonido por ahí. Ok. Now. Then, eh, we have the most of the verbs just add ing. And then the, the verbs ending in e, remove the e and add ing. Verse ending in one vowel followed by one consonant, double the consonant and add ing, like get, getting, run, running. And there are some exceptions to the rule, to the second rule, uh, that is not only dropping the e when, when it finish ie, they change I for Y and add ING, okay? Like die, dying, lie, lying, okay? Then we have uh, the use of the present continuous. We use the present continuous to talk about things that are happening now to describe an action in progress. Where is John in his room? He is doing his homework. You're speaking too fast for me, okay? Those things that are happening or things that are in progress. Then we also use present continuous for temporary activities to describe a short-term or temporary situation. We are learning about trees this week. My brother is staying with friends in London until he finds somewhere to live, okay? Temporary things or short-term actions. Then, Jancy. Uh, read this one, please, with with the with the examples. Okay. Situations of cha of change. The who in the ocean layer is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. The number of pupils in the school is falling. Thank you. Now, Jessica Castro. Okay, teach. Future arrangement. We're flying to Spain on a school trip next month. Okay. I'm seeing the head teacher after class. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Sofia Castaneda. Present continuous or present simple. It rains a lot of a lot of in Scotland, 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 habitual situation. Okay. When it is an habitual situation, it, it we use present simple. Okay. Okay. Now, Ana Margarita Márquez. Good. Oh, I am not. It's raining now. It's raining now. Okay. Raining now. When, when it's something that is happening at the moment of speaking, we use present continuous. Okay. Okay. Now, Rafael Cruz. 
be expecting, expecting to test their, the the theories. theories 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 always, always true. true when it's something that is always true we use present simple okay now uh, elizabeth del carmen <clears throat> Scientists are doing experiments to see if there is light on Mars. Mars currently. Okay. Currently. It's something that is happening, okay, at the moment. And Elizabeth Del Carmen. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, the next. Yes. She, she speaks French and German. She can speak this language. Languages. Language. Okay. okay. It's something that she can speak, so uh, it's not uh, a, it's not present continuous, but simple present. Okay. Now, uh, Sara Maria. Molina? Ah, tiene problemas conectándose al audio. No se preocupe. Edwin López. Yes, teacher. This one. Wait. Wait a minute. She's speaking to someone on her mobile. Okay, it's, it's something that is happening now, okay? Now. Affirmative, negative, interrogative, okay? This is uh, how I like to present uh, the, the tense we are we are talking about is present uh, progressive or uh, present continuous. So we have the verb to be in simple present and the, or the main verb in ing form or gerund, okay? Now, uh, each of you will read one uh, of one line that means the affirmative negative and interrogative okay now um, lorena reyes okay, give me a second um, okay. only the sentences or the structure the affirmative. Yo creo que tiene problemas con el con el sonido. No se preocupe. I'm arriving at negative. Yes, it's, it's arriving at at Don't worry. I am arriving at two o'clock. I am not arriving at two o'clock. In my arriving at two o'clock. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Monica Marisol. You are calling home. You are not calling home. Are you calling home? Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Kevin Daniel. Yes, teacher. The next. Okay, okay. He's going to the movie. Uh huh. He isn't going to the movie. Uh huh. And is he going to the movie? Okay, thank you very much. Natalie Patricia.
Hello, teacher. Okay. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Ok. Este... She's not helping the teacher. We are not stopping the taxi. Okay. You are not washing the jeans. Mm, no, Harry. Uh, the line. Uh, affirmative, negative, interrogative. Ah, okay. <laughs> Lo siento. Es que voy entrando. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. She is helping the teacher. She is not helping the teacher. Is she helping the teacher? Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, Sara Maria. Are we oui. stopping the taxi? We uh -huh. are not stopping the taxi. Uh -huh. Are we stopping the taxi? Excellent, thank you very much. Now... Uh, volunteer. Okay, Rafa. You are washing the gym. You are not washing the gym. Are you washing the gym? Excellent. Now, someone else? Me. Okay, go. They are open the door. They are opening the door. Are they opening the door, that door? Okay, thank you. Al final se dio cuenta que era that y no de. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, right. okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, that's the way we are going to do the, the, next, the next exercise when we get in a... Uh, in the groups, okay? You are going to, to say the verb that you have, the, the two verbs that you have. You are going to choose one in affirmative and your classmates, and you ask your classmates to make it either negative or interrogative. And when they made uh, that, they had to read their own and do, do the same, okay? with the other classmates, as we work with the with the simple present, that's time, okay? Now, we have exceptions. There are some verbs that we never use in the present continuous tense because they are states it cannot have a progressive form. These verbs are, pre, uh, are preference and state verbs, such as no, have, for possession, like, love, prefer, hate, want, believe, own, and cost. You have to learn them by heart, okay? No, have, like, love, prefer, hate, want, believe, own, and cause. Those are not going to be used in present continuous, okay? For these are in similar verbs, we use simple tenses, okay? You use it only in simple tenses. Now, we may use the present continuous for the future, okay? When we talk about a fixed event in the future, we often use the present continuous. It's particularly common when you refer to appointments in your agenda. For example, I'm going to the dentist on Tuesday at 10. We're meeting my sister for lunch today. He's having a haircut this afternoon. What time are you leaving? They are 
taking the seven o'clock train. Okay. This is when is uh, when you are talking about something that you have in your agenda. Okay. If something that is not happening right now, but you already know that it will be, uh, you have to do it in the near future. Okay. Now, uh, let's read it. Edwin Lopez, read uh, the first, please. Yes. Okay. The first sentence. Mm -hmm. I am. I am going to the dentist on Tuesday at 10 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Ana Margarita, change that sentence to negative, please. I I not going to see on Thursday at ten eighteen. Okay, great. Now, uh, Sara Maria, change it to interrogative, please. Is is am I? Uh, um, is am, uh -huh. am I going to the dentist on Tuesday at 10 a.m.? Excellent. Now, Jessica Castro, read number two, please. We're meeting my sister for lunch today. Okay, thank you. Now, Sandra Noemi, change it to negative, please. Right here. To negative. Uh -huh. The second one. We are not. Today. We are not meeting my sister for lunch today. Okay. Now, Sofia Castaneda, change it to interrogative, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, are we meeting my sister for lunch today? Okay, thank you very much. Monica Marisol, read number three, please. He's having a curfew this afternoon. Okay, thank you. Now, Kevin Daniel. Okay, Make please. it negative, please. Okay. He's not having a haircut this afternoon. Okay. Thank you very much. Natalie Patricia, change it to interrogative, please. Natalie Miranda? En Miami Let? Please change this one to interrogative. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Ruth Abigail, could you read this one, please? What time are you leaving? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this is a question, okay? Uh, a WH question. Could you make it a uh, um, just no question. Uh, Stacy Nicole. I am leaving at eight thirty a.m. No. Are you leaving? 
Just are you leaving? Yes, no questions. Are you leaving? And they have to is to say yes or no. Okay. Now, uh, Elizabeth del Carmen, could you make this a uh, affirmative sentence? Uh, affirmative sentence. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. You, you are, are leaving. Yes, you, you are, are leaving. leaving. Excellent. Now, uh, Jessica Castro, make it negative, please. You are not leaving. Excellent. Now, Edwin Lopez, read the last one, please. They're taking a seven o'clock train. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Jan C. Andrea, make it negative, please. They aren't taking the seven o'clock train. Okay, now Rafael made it a uh, yes no question, please. Yes, they aren't taking the seven o'clock train. No, are they taking? Ah, uh, are they taking the seven o'clock train? Excellent. Okay, now. Uh, when you are not sure whether to use the present simple or the present continuous, ask yourself these questions. Is it a long-term situation? If so, use present simple. Is it a state verb, for example, like? If so, use the present simple, okay? When you don't know wh whether to use pre uh, present simple or present continuous, see if it is a long-term situation or if it's a state verb. Remember that the state verbs are these ones. No, have, like, have when it's for possession. Like, love, prefer, have, uh, hate, want, believe, own and cost, okay? Now, uh, teacher. Yes. Puede poner la diapositiva anterior, por favor. Esta. Yes. O esta. This. Esta. Gracias. No, ya está. Solo la anterior. Pero ya le capturé. Gracias. Ok. De sí. todos modos, eso se los mando al, corre, al, al WhatsApp. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Acuérdese que esto, esto es investigación aparte, no, no es lo que está en la, en, en la plataforma. A mí me gusta ampliar lo que les ponen en la plataforma. Ok. Sí. Okay, now, uh, Rafael, read uh, this one, please. Se me fue, Rafa. Yancy? Okay. Is seeing an action there happening in this moment? If so, use the present continuous. Okay. Now, uh, Elizabeth del Carmen. Is it an action verb that is, that is the temporary situation? If, you, if so, use the present continuous. Okay. Now, Edwin Lopez. Is it a fixed plan in the future? If so, use the present continuous. 
Okay. Not. As you can see, we use these two sentences in many daily situations. So they're really useful to learn as well as you can. Try to practice them a lot until they become natural. And pay special attention to the third person singular form because it will really make a difference in your accuracy in conversations. Okay, now I will be sending you right now to the WhatsApp the link. Okay, for a, a little exercise. Okay. Like the one that we made last time, remember? This is this is not uh, something that will affect uh, your your punctuation on the platform. This is something apart. Okay. The present simple and present continuous. Okay, now on Fridays, we usually is finish or are finishing early. Finish. 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 Okay, now, uh, Jancy, Andrea. They are finishing late. Today we are finishing late because of a meeting. Now, Elizabeth del Carmen. My best friend is called Danielle. She is coming from France. Okay. No, she comes. She comes. She comes from France. Okay, thank you. Now, Jessica Castro. Dan Danielle is coming to visit me today. Okay. Now, Edwin Lopez. They are heavy. Are you sure? They have. Remember uh, that this is, a state, this is a state verb because it's something that you own. It's a possession. Remember that oh, the possession right, right. has no ing form. Okay? Then is they have a warehouse oh. outside the city. Okay? Now, Ana Margarita Marquez. They have a break. They have a break. Okay. Now, Sara Maria. This evening. This this evening, my boyfriend and you and I, 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 I go to a concert. Are going I, to a concert, okay? Because it's uh, in the agenda, okay? Now, Rafael Cruz. I normally cheat. I normally? I, I normally, I go, uh, I go, I go, which, I go, which, which I normally, out. I normally go out, go out, which friends on Saturday evening, evenings, evenings, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I normally go out with friends on Saturday evenings. Repeat, please. I normally, I normally with friends. No, I normally go out with friends on Saturday evenings. Evenings, okay. Now, uh, I think Kevin Daniel. Okay, I take a shower when I get back home. Okay. That's a good that's a good thing now for pandemic time. Okay. <laughs> before pandemic, we take a shower before going out. Now when 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 the pandemic, we're taking a shower when we get back. <laughs> now uh, Sandra Noemi. Me? No puedo ver la pantalla. No la puede ver. Ok. Eh, Alguien que sí la pueda ver y lea la última, por favor. We are making a quiz. We are making a quiz. We are making a quiz. Ok. Miren, todo, eh, ah, esta está mal. Qué raro. Bueno, era de they are having a break. Ok. Now. With this, we finish for today at uh, Do you already have your sentences? Your affirmative sentences? With the two verbs that we work on the present tense. Les pongo otra vez el listado. Yes. Okay. Acuérdese que eran dos que le di a cada quien. Y tenían que pasarlos, lo, ya los pasamos a, a, a presente continuo. Fue, lo hicimos el, el jueves. A, perdón, a, a Gerundio. Entonces, de esos, ustedes lo iban a hacer en cualquiera de las otras personas y tercera persona de singular. Y lo iban a hacer con Gerundio. En present continuous. For example, I am understanding this book. He is writing a poem. And then, because right now, we have time to go to to the breakout rooms to make the exercises. 
Remember that you have to give your affirmative sentences to your classmates and they are going to change it either negative or interrogative. For example, uh, Jancy, could you change this to interrogative? He is writing a poem. Is he writing a poem? Excellent. Now, uh, you make your sentence and ask somebody to make it or negative or interrogative, okay? Uh, do you want to go to the break, break uh, rooms right now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. A ver, somos 15. Vamos a hacer 5. Ok. Ok. Go ahead. Emma, we are moving to the break from rooms. Good. Good. Yeah, como eh, yo no tengo esos verbos, creo que son los lo de hace tiempo, ¿no? Sí, lo mismo que nos ah, había okay. dejado la anterior. Entonces el mío sería fly, entonces sería fly. Fly, 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 de, de, de juego. No, fly, de volar. Ah, ah, fly. Entonces, ¿Y el eh, otro? El otro no recuerdo, teacher, cuál era. Permítame, lo voy a poner aquí. Uh -huh. Por favor, si puede, porque solo recuerdo uno. Sería fly... Forget. Sería fly and forget or find and fly? No, flying and forgetting. Okay. Okay. Eh, con fly, the teacher se me dificulta hacer oraciones porque no sé, me parece como un verbo bien específico de fly, volar, pero no, no sé cómo. Eh, we are flying, eh, the, por ejemplo, the birds are flying to the north. Oh, ok, ok, ok. O sea, parece que yo lo veo así como cabal, como de volar de pájaros. Sí, también, ah, los, también, lo, también los aviones. Uh, I, am, I am flying to Europe. Ah, pues así había hecho oraciones con fly, con volar así en avión. Ajá. También. Ah, pues por ejemplo, eh, the, eh, the bird is flying to the west mm -hmm. and it, it with forget oh, sí. con, forget sería, uh, i am forgetting that but i but i but i can't <laughs> Pero que es eso, no sé. <laughs> uh, forgetting is uh, to uh, don't remember. Okay, okay. Okay, you mm. may, uh, but, but you have to ask her to make uh, either negative or interrogative the, the sentence that you make, okay? Okay, okay. Entonces, uh, sería, uh, the bears 
are not flying uh, to the west and to the and, west. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, but she is the one that has to make the change. You may you you give her the affirmative sentence and ask her to 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 make the change. So, usted hace la afirmativa y le dice a ella que haga el cambio, ya sea negativa o interrogativa. Okay? okay. okay. I, y después ella va a hacer su oración y le va a pedir a usted que haga el cambio. I get, I get, I get. Okay. Uh, bueno, uh, hi, Sara. Hola. Okay. Hi. Uh, bueno, la primera oración sería con fly y sería... Uh, uh, the birds are flying to the, the west. Flying, flying is, is, dijo. No, flying. Uh-huh. The birds flying. are, the birds are flying. Uh -huh. Antes is are. The birds are flying to uh -huh. Uh, west to the west. Okay. Casi nada le agarro. <laughs> the bird flying is. No, R. Antes de, de flying, R. Ah. Before. Yeah. Ay, como en, en negativa quiere que la haga. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the bird not, uh, are not, sería, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ah. The bird are not flying. Mm -hmm. Así, verdad? Are not. Exactly. The bird are not flying. Mm -hmm. The complement? <laughs> que no, no, que no le entendí. Ingües, no sé qué. To the west, as a. As to a the west. west. <laughs> Pero no, ni, ni le, no sé qué significa eso. ¿Qué es en español? Que las aves están volando hacia el este. Uh, ah, ya. Ya, ya. Y <ríe> West. No, okay. no, West es oeste, ¿verdad? West. Yes. Ajá. East es este. <ríe> es. Bueno. Ay, sí. Va. And you, sí. Sara? La mía sería, my cousin is cutting the ball. My cousin is cutting the ball. The, ¿qué, ¿Qué es el complemento? Sí, sí, sería, eh, no sé, que él está cortando la tabla. Mi ah, primo está board. cortando okay. la tabla. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Y la acción que está realizando. Sí. Ok, sería... continue with the other sentences, ok? Ok. Ok. Interrogativa. Interrogativa. Sí. Ah, ok. Es que como no estuve en la, en la clase anterior, entonces no estaba muy segura. Ah, pero sí tiene las, las estructuras. Los verbos. Ah, sí, las sí, estructuras. Sí, 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 ya los logré copiar. Ah, sí. No, las estructuras. Ay, no, no, no las tengo. Solo tomé captura de lo de la clase de hoy. Ah, ahí se las puso la ticha. Uh -huh. Se las iba a mandar yo, pero ya se las pusieron. Justo, a tiempo. Exacto. Pero 
है No, no tienen hechas las oraciones, ninguno. Yo sí. Sí. Ve, que, que empiece alguien. Ok. Eh, diciendo la afirmativa, ¿verdad, teacher? ¿Cómo está? Ajá. Eh, Natalie, I am buying for a car. No, I am buying a car. Uh -huh. I am buying for a car. No, no. I am buying a car. I am paying a car. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, do you want it in negative or interrogative? Negative. Natalie. Sentence negative. Okay. I'm not paying for a car. I am not buying a car. Uh, I'm not buying. <laughs> I'm not buying a, a car. Excellent. Now. <laughs> Now make your 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 sentence and ask somebody to make it interrogative or or negative. You you decide. Okay. Este um my sentence in affirmative is I'm sleeping in class. Uh -huh. Now uh, interrogative or negative in who? Um, Rafael. Uh -huh. um, negative. Okay. Eh, está en mood. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I am not asleep a, a class. A class, a class. In the class. Uh, in the class. Uh -huh. I'm not asleep. I am not sleeping in the class. Excellent. Okay, now you, you continue that way, okay, with the other sentences. Remember that there are four, four sentences. Okay, voy a seguir yo. Okay. <laughs> um, Sí. Mesa rota. Es una mesa rota. Es una mesa rota. Uh -huh. La pregunta es si es broken the table. Ajá, ahí sería. Is. Is. Other is verb. Uh -huh. um, otro verbo. El otro, el otro en el caso mío es come. Come. De venir. Come. Hola. De venir. Come. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Venir. Uh, de, de come. Ah, uh, from how who is coming now? Hola. Who is coming now? Como bien ahora. Ahora. Oh, yeah. What's it's wrong? Lo escuché entrecortado, casi no le comprendí. Ah, uh, who, 
Who? Call me now. Uh, cool. Edwin, uh, write it in the chat because uh, she cannot hear you well. Okay. Okay. And what happened here? Both are mute. Hello? Sí, miércoles, dice. <laughs> Hola. Teacher. Hello. I want to listen. <laughs> I want to listen. No, okay. Pero lo podemos repetir. Yes, or all my other ones. Okay. In affirmative, he is building a Lego city. In negative, he is not building a Lego city. In interrogative, he is she building a Lego city. Okay, nice. <laughs> you are doing well. I am having a good time. Okay. Negative, I am not having a good time. Okay. Negative, am I having a good time? Excellent. Remember that you, you have to use both, uh, uh, both verbs with other, other uh, pronouns and with third person singular. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you may continue. Okay. Some of your classmates didn't get to the classrooms and some were mute. You are supposed to be talking to each other when you are in the break. Uh, out in the breakout rooms in order to practice, okay? But uh, most of you did it very well. Okay, congratulations. 
And let's see. Uh, we are going to continue tomorrow with with the with the rest of the section. And on Wednesday we will be finishing the section five and reading the test, and we will be checking the test for Thursday. Okay, and then we we have to have all the exercises and test complete 100%, okay? See you tomorrow. Care. Bye-bye.